after Patrick Schulte started the last match. Schiberko, the new defensive addition, starts in a back three. He played well against Chicago, too. And tonight, sees changes on the left side in particular for the Loons as Honduran underway with Cucho Hernandez to play this back for the crew. They know that few teams in MLS Manning left back for Minnesota tonight. They play this centrally. Here's Will Trapp back in Columbus. Plays this ball ahead. Puki on the move. Tamu Puki broke it up. Appeal for a handball. Penalty. And Tamu Puki creates the first big opportunity for Minnesota to take the lead on the road. One of the center backs. Exactly what Puki does. He gets on the wrong side of Marrera. You just say, I, I think that has to be turned back. I don't think that that is a handball. If anything, it just hits his chest, as you see coming through here. Doesn't even touch his arm. I think if VAR have a proper look at that. It's a quick look. And the decision from Rayon Radix. No penalty. Reynoso. Going long for Puki. Has a man with him. Plays it ahead. This is Longwane. Able to chip the keeper and put it in the back of goal. The flag stays down. The Loons have the lead on the road. Yes, it's a brilliant finish from Longwane. And it's a great ball from Puka, but it's all about the magician right now. So we can see clearly here, he's in an onside position. And it's a wonderful counter-attack, but Reynoso was a genius near the halfway line. He then plays in Puki, and then Puki just has a presence of mind. He knows that Blomwane is making the run. He just waits and times it perfectly. Marrera finds himself in a 2v1 situation, and that will be the goal and the instance that Adrian Heath will have been telling his players about leading up to this game. The more you understand what it takes to play a specific role. So therefore, if you're a centre-back and you've played central midfield before, you know the type of pass of the central midfielder wants. Intercept by Amundsen. Here comes Cucho looking at goal, ups the pass, Amundsen! Tie game! To level of the game's 42nd minute. Columbus have just done to Minnesota what Minnesota have been trying to do to Columbus, which is dispossessing them in their own half, and then you're in trouble because Columbus commits so many men forward when they initially make the press. Then when they win the ball back, they then have the room and they have the extra players to break forward. And it's good play. It's Amundsen initially that wins it. Hernandez then picks the pass perfectly. Back to Amundsen. And then it's into the back of the net. You just see there'll be a few people that say St. Clair should be looking after his near post. The role has transformed into that, and he's done well for this crew side. At center back, Cucho looks at goal, plays it ahead. This is laid off, fired away, shot, goal! What a strike! It's Alex Matan for a 2-1 to -one lead! Well, it's a brilliant strike. It's great football all the way around. We've already said about Matan finding himself free, using his intelligence, because what you're seeing is Rosales gets dragged out of position. He's not able to do anything about it. Trap can't get back, but take nothing away from the finish. It's exquisite. A lovely touch as well from Nagby to just say to Matan, here you go, take this first-time strike and find the back of the net. And it's exactly what he does. And that's what Columbus are so good at. Reynoso for the Loons, his service blocked away initially by Gressel, comes right back to him. It's been so good on the ball in tight space tonight, Reynoso. Rosales now curls this ball in, it deflects into the back of the net, and the Loons have tied the game! Who else but Lamwani with the finish in front, and just like that, we're level again. And is Longwane having a marvelous tournament shaken up in the process? A lot of wingers wouldn't do. They wouldn't even get themselves involved. It's a lovely ball in from Rosales. But he can see he's going to get not just hit by Bush. Amundsen, perfect ball through. Yabawa cross! The crew take the lead in the 83rd minute. Christian Ramirez with the go-ahead goal!
It's brilliant play from Yeboa and Ramirez. But just look at that pass. The pass from Amundsen is absolutely delicious. It's just saying, get hold of the ball, play it across to your teammate and put the ball into the back of the net. But what a ball this is from Amundsen. In between the fullback and the centre-back, you don't, your bower does really well. Farsi. Morera for Kucha. Kucha on top of the box, gets it back, curls one off the crossbar. Still a live ball in the 18, Yeboa, back hill. He's now finding time and space because Columbus have an extra attacking player. Rosales taking off his foot. The intercept by Reynoso. Emmanuel Reynoso able to lay this off. Dotson tagging! Hassani Dotson! Who moments ago appeared to be exiting the match levels in stoppage time. But it's all about the pressing. It's Paul from Farsi, but look at Minnesota still going for it so late on in the game. And it's brilliant once again from Reynoso. Yes, it takes a deflection of Amundsen, as we see it going through here. That makes sure the Bush has got absolutely no chance. Scored for the crew back in the first half. Amundsen steps up, another save! St. Clair with the big stop. Looking to send the loons. Home with a place in the round of 16. Mission accomplished. They explode on the Minnesota sideline. And it's back north for another game in a remarkable League's Cup that sees Minnesota go through.